we have anything to do anyway? Uh, not to take any action. But okay. I would, uh, Melissa Bounty can't not make it tonight. And so I suggest that, that we, we let Rob and Allison <coughs> talk, you know, our sure. hosts. Yeah explain their facility here and yeah. what their thoughts are and, yeah. and so happy to do that yeah, sure so. sure well thanks so much for letting us have the meeting here it's so great to do yeah. it yeah, nice. we used to have quite a lot of town, town stuff here the i think the biggest was probably the um historical society we met met here for their annual meetings every year and um uh, i'm not sure we ever had a planning meeting here but we had information town meetings and stuff like that so so it's great to do it again um, so the, uh, uh, Pastor Allison joined us about almost two years now, right? Isn't that right? Yeah. Awesome. yeah. Almost. Um, we'd had, um, we'd had our beloved minister, um, uh, 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 um, Vanderlind Abernathy for 30 years. Um, and she was heavily involved in beauty, but when she left, when she retired, we sort of entered this strange hiatus and... Um, a, a lot of things sort of uh, fell apart a little bit, partly then the COVID stuff as well. Yeah. So we're, we're getting back into it and in, really in two big directions. One of this in terms of the, the physical fabric of the building. Um, so when I took over as a treasurer about five years ago, um, at that point, a number of things had really been going downhill, the roof and the sanctuary downstairs here, which hadn't been used very much had gotten a serious case of mold. Um, and um, we had to do, we had really done nothing except for... Jeff, is that... Is that... Sorry, if I, I, I can talk louder if need be. No, I think somebody's... Ah, uh, okay. Um, and the only uh, accessibility stuff were the ramps, really. Uh, so we started a, what I thought would be a five-year project. Now it looks more like a 10-year project <laughs> of renovations, with, starting with the roof, which was really serious, and the steeple, which was tilted a little bit. Um, Jay, Jay Southgate said, well, I'll come and fix that, and he did. Uh, and then he retired. So, um, And we began a number of, of funding activities, both um, the fundraising in, in the town, but also grants. We had a major grant from the Vermont Heart Department of Historic Preservation oh, nice. for some initial ADA stuff um, from private foundations, the Donjon Foundation, the uh, Oakwoods Foundation over in Stowe, the um, Byrne Foundation down in, in, the, in the valley. Um, so our, we're, what we've gotten to now is a pretty solid structure, but we really have to address accessibility. Right now, the only, we, one of the things we did for accessibility was a new restroom in the front of the sanctuary that's fully ADA compliant with funding uh, from several for several sources. But these two restrooms are the only ones that are in the in this community space and they're very far from ADA compliant. Plus there's no access from one floor to the next in this part of the building. You have to go up those stairs or down the other stairs that are right there. So when Stan Baranowski came to review the the place back in 2018 for me, um, he said, well, things don't look bad, but you know, you've got to do something about all of this ADA compliance stuff, because you can't do anything except church functions in here. You can't ha have a, a publicly held um, or uh, organization that holds their own meeting in the space without it being ADA compliant. Oh, so that's the line? I wasn't doing it the is, line yep, yep. Okay. Under, the, the, under the Title 18, we can do our own functions and we don't have to have, but our, our congregation is getting older, I'm getting older, mm -hmm. and it gets harder and harder to do the stairs for the folks in the congregation. Yeah, yeah. We had um, two years ago, one of our folks actually fell on the stairs trying to get up and down. Mm -hmm. So, so that's the next step, really, for us. And we've had really a close relationship with Back River Design in Montpelier, Roland Tate there, to design the what's going to be a, a major renovation of this part of the of the complex, um, putting an alula in that space where those restrooms are that'll allow us to... Explain what a LULA is. That's a, it's a, 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 a limited use and limited access uh, lift that doesn't require the same level of inspections um, that a full-scale elevator would. So it has a shaft, and inside that shaft is a freestanding lift that goes up and down, limited in terms of number of weight, limited in terms of uh, um, the points of access and so on. But yeah, but functional. The, 
It, um, our colleagues down at, the, at Presbyterian did one that works really well. There are several up on the up on the hill here in some of the medical complexes. So, and I put two. I not my me personally, yeah, but, but I helped get two in the last two churches. Yeah, oh, good. Nice. Yeah. Um, and they're much less expensive than elevators like, yeah, are. This, elevators. The oh. mechanism for the Lula is uh, 80,000 bucks compared to 500,000 for an elevator. So, wow. Yeah. I didn't know they were that expensive. Yeah, they're quite expensive. Well, it depends, certainly. But for us, it would have been a full scale elevator, it would have been about 500,000. Mm -hmm. so, wow. so they've done a, we've got a thorough design. Um, we're at the point now of looking at the funding stuff, and one of the funding possibilities for us is an NEA grant, National Endowment for the Arts grant, um, called Our Town, in which we act as the primary um, requester, but we do it in cooperation with the town to say that this is intended to be not just a private church space, but also a community space. So we're, um, I'm hoping to apply for that. The first part of the application is due at the, at the beginning of August. And um, assuming that I get, can get all the materials together that I need from Black River, then I think it's just a question of the, uh, something like a letter from town saying, no. yes, this is a space that would be helpful for us in terms of community activities, has a history of being connected to the community and so on. And uh, if this, I should know within the next week or so mm. whether or not I'm gonna be able to apply for that grant or not, depending on exactly what I, whether I get what I need from Black River Design for that. Oh. Unfortunately, that grant is not an implementation grant. It's, they, they only, do the design work, and then once you've got that, then you're eligible for other NEA grants yeah. that can do yeah. major implementation. We're familiar with those types of <laughs> I'm sure you are. funding opportunities. Yeah. Yeah. And then this week I've been spending a lot of time on the phone with Caitlin Corkins down at the Department of Historic Preservation, where we submitted a grant to them at the end of June for $160,000 in tax credits that we were then, we contracted the last time with Northfield. Northfield Savings Bank and sold our tax credits to them, and they agreed again to to be our um, to buy the credits from us. So, um, Kate has been very helpful working through the details of this application, which I thought I got everything right, but she work? said, "No, wrong. You didn't quite get it this time." No, so she's uh, good at that. That's she's that's very why good. we like her. Yeah. What are the, well, how does that work? What are the tax credits for? So, um, as a nonprofit, we don't we don't pay any taxes, right, right. but we can still apply for. Um, credit against taxes, and then, then sell those credits to some other enterprise. Usually, they s sell them. Um, they give us ninety to ninety-five percent of the value, um, and then we get the money, and they get to use the tax right. credits in their uh, annual annual tax payments. Both. Well, are the tax so the tax credits are for historic something that you do? They to are this? exactly. Okay. Is yeah. that like because that's like our town or a village district? Thing? It is exactly. They're yeah. yeah they're the. It's under the Village Center Tax Credit Program. Oh, exactly. okay. Under the state. Oh, exactly. okay. Exactly. Yep, yeah, that's okay. what it is. And the, um, uh, for us, at, at, at least, the, the, the main area of, um, of applicability now used to be we had structural things and we got the grant for those. Now it's all um, ADA yeah. funding. So the code violations that we're trying to remedy are all related to accessibility for individuals with disabilities. Yep. And the Lula is the big chunk of that. I didn't know, did we want to walk around a little bit, or, or would that mess up? This, well, this is the main room that we're yeah, going to be okay. working in. The Lula yeah. will be right in that corner, and the, there, we're really not intending much change in this space. We may need to change the, where the door for the kitchen is, mm -hmm. uh, depending on how exactly the stair comes up from outside. We're going to put a new door in to the back part of the church, uh, at right over there, but so behind the lula, and create a new sort of entry vestibule in that area. Okay. So that, at least according to Stan, that should allow us to to meet all of the all the ADA requirements. We probably will keep at least that ramp. We'll have a new entry on that side. That's at at the the ground level and the level of the main sanctuary. So you can come in without any ramps or anything like that for for ease of accessibility. And then the, the biggest question we face is whether to keep the ramp on that side. Uh, the, the folks at Black River said that they, they felt if we have the little, we don't really need that ramp, that's not quite compliant. It's grandfathered in at the moment. Yeah. So, so there are still some questions, but um, the recommendation from Preservation Trust 
that we've worked with very closely had been that we do this as a phased project. Um, and that it's, we start with the Lula and that chunk of it, and then look later on at additional entry, this additional part over here, things like yeah, that. that. So sense. it does, I think. So the initial, an initial funding is 398,000 that we'd have to, at least from the estimate from Black River Design, mm -hmm. um, we're working fairly closely with. Um, with is that uh, for everything? That's just the Lula and the entrance there. It does include all the demolition of that area, stripping out of the stuff, building the shaft, includes the electrical. Yeah. We have to put in a new service, 200 amp service, um, in order to support the Lula. So, but all of that is, is there. They added a, a, then a uh, contingency on top of that, which I can't use in the request for funding, but yeah. we'll We'll look at trying to get enough additional grant and then community funding. We've had very strong support from the community over the past several years, about 100,000 in community funding wow, in the last five good. years. So it's been really, there. one of the great things is that, that the church is really iconic for a lot of people in town. Um, people who, when I we did the first fundraiser in 2018, said, you know, I. I don't think I've ever been in that church, but I drive past that every day. <laughs> and I want to make sure it stays up. So, <laughs> so it's That's been really funny. great. And Tom has been a tremendous help mm -hmm. in all of this. When we, one of the really unfortunate things that we found out was the well we had, which was put in in, in 2000, in, uh, when this was built in 1964, um, oh had chronic, um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> chronic uh, uh, E. coli. Oh. So, and, and I had gone into Tom to say, you know, we're going to replace the bathroom over there. What, do I need any permits? And Tom said, well, well, it depends. How are you doing with your water testing? And I said, what water testing? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been doing any water testing. And so Tom getting me up with the, the folks downtown. And it turned out that we, we had only two options. One was to try to do, do another well somewhere else and risk having radon and bacterial contamination from the agriculture use that used to be here or um, or else connect to town water. And the town was instrumental in getting us that that connection and that design. So that makes sense. Yeah. It really was. It made huge sense. And and the planning commission in two thousand eighteen, two thousand nineteen got uh, the Berlin Common this Berlin Corners uh, uh, as a designated the village, village says, center. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, and this was the cornerstone of that <laughs> project. Right? Yeah. right, right. And well, I didn't realize it was the taxpayers you were speaking of were related to that. Because like, yep. I knew that that was available through there, but I didn't, wasn't aware that yep. you were it taking was, advantage of that. So good. Absolutely. So I was thinking it was absolutely. only commercial properties, but it's not. No. 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 Okay. No. No. no, no. Um, Civic. The, Civic. Yeah, Has exactly. Been. Okay. Clearly. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so, the, um, the the hot thought process on my end is that there is not a lot of community space in in the town of Berlin, and and, and I came for a function here, and I looked around, and I said, "Wow, this is <laughs> yeah. you know, this first time I was ever in a church," and, and, and so, yeah. we, so we've gone to. Uh, 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 not Vermont Land Trust. Who was that? We went to? It was Trust, Preservation Trust, Trust of Vermont. Trust. Yeah, went down to uh, yeah. uh, Stratford and yeah. spent a, a day down there. And, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so, um, uh, what I've offered to, because oftentimes uh, grantees need a, a municipal partner in what right. they're doing, right. and, and um, I said I, I b really believe that yeah. the town would partner, and that's really through our planning commission. Yeah. Okay? And, uh, and and so I I, I I just wanted to plant that seeds exactly. with, with everybody here, and Great. and now as as we are thinking of various things that we're doing. I mean, this is a this is a terrific space. I mean, yeah. they they're talking about maybe some concerts out here that, yeah. that maybe the town could sponsor. It's just it's just it's it's a great opportunity for both entities to to yeah. to to um, make our community a tighter knit community. Yeah. Yeah. And and I always say, and Tony, you're wonderful at this. Is thinking outside <laughs> the box. Yeah. You know what what yeah. what can mm -hmm. you do here? Yeah. On, on, um, uh, I, I would encourage everybody to, to think along those lines yeah. and, and come up with uh, yeah, absolutely. Some and ideas. we have lots of ideas. We last year we had the last two years we had a West Af in September a West African dance and music festival out in the back, and we also had Green Mountain Swing playing and s several other con I, musicians have done concerts out there as well. And it's a wonderful <clears throat> space back there 
with using the front of the right. the building as the as the sort of uh, stage, you know, and then people sitting in the sort of amphitheater to the back, and the labyrinth in the back there, which was built when uh, Doreen re retired, um, is one that uh, it's amazing how many people from all around the state use it. Uh, we I, I often am here, and there'll be folks who come and say, well, I. I drive past here, I'm on my way from Boston, I'm going to Montreal, and just thought I'd stop and walk the labyrinth. So, huh. it's an, it really is I didn't incredible. Know about it. There's a labyrinth website oh. that lists us as one of the labyrinths in Vermont. Mm. Yeah. So, and we're thinking we'll have a picnic table that we have, have to put, put together. together so. <laughs> but we'll, we're hoping to really make that space a really inviting space back there. This is new to me. Can you explain what this labyrinth is? So the, in, in many traditions, uh, as one of the meditation op ways you can meditate is a walking meditation in which you follow a path, sometimes a spiral path, sometimes a series of concentric circles. And uh, you can, uh, it, it's true in Eastern traditions and Christian traditions and Jewish traditions. And when um, Doreen went out to the, the Southwest for her sabbatical, they had a labyrinth there and she, she told the folks here that if they were going to do something for her for retirement, she'd like to have the church make a labyrinth oh. in her name. So, so that we went ahead and do that, hired a contractor who laid it out, put in the bricks, and uh, and it, it's it's a fair amount of uh, maintenance, <laughs> but it's <laughs> it's worth it to have a place that folks feel is really accessible and yeah. and. It's a it's a beautiful spot to just go out and sit on the bench or, or Pu walk public around. space. It is public yeah, right. space, absolutely. Yeah. So I think about this with our sorry to interrupt. No uh, problem, Tony. As we're talking about <clears throat> the idea of the trails, right? The trail network yeah. come from town center, going to Berlin Pond, but having this as a part of it would be it's great. Really kind of cool. yeah. Yeah, I always think about like. We, I was, uh, it's like every time I ride the bike path in Stowe, yeah. I wonder, like, why don't we have these spaces like that? Yeah. The, the quiet yes. walking yeah. path? Yeah, exactly. Like, why don't we have that in Berlin? Yeah. It's, it's wild, we do. Yeah. There's some, there's exactly. This is here. And, yeah, and so exactly. it's kind of really cool. So that's kind of cool. So and in cool. fact, uh, Ellen, who, uh, who owns the property right behind us, which we had to use for the, the water line, is also very interested in having public access on that land. So, for example, the trail that goes along that along that, that space and comes into the church here, not on the road, but in that, in that natural mm -hmm. space. So, so I, I think there are actually a lot of ways we could connect in um, and would be, would really love to do that. So we also um, have now a number of members who are in Chestnut Place and it would be great to, for example, have Vermont Transit help us to bring them over here when we're doing events and things like that. So well, I, I think it'd be great to- You know, Kay's the- Kay, Kay Nuisa, my cousin, is the, I, you yeah, know, Kay, I know, Kay, yeah. I do know Kay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was say, She's they, been a great supporter. Yeah, because yeah. they have transport, don't yeah. they, for the they residents? Yeah. yeah, exactly, yeah. 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 yeah, we haven't arranged with them yet for our, our Sunday services, but yeah. they have, um, I think it was, I think it was for the festival, and they did one bus that brought some po folks from yeah. the, I think from the Exit 7 Welcome Center up to here. So since they already stopped at Shaw's, it was just a small additional yeah. a small, nice. a stop. So yeah. likely the next one of these out in the community meetings is going to be at Chestnut Place. Nice, no, yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, excellent. It is good. Yeah, it's I, I for us certainly <clears throat> having having folks there who really still want to be part of the community. It's really this place gives them that a strong sense of that. Yeah. We have um, at least one member who always comes over from. From Chesson on Sunday morning, so and then my, we also have folks in other places too. My aunt, who's 102, is down in in the gardens in Williamstown, um, and I we bring her up for special events. Nice. Uh, Who walks every day? She, she walks is every much day. More, <laughs> it's it's quite amazing. That's amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, you might. Uh, she's Anita Flanagan, Carlos. Right? Yeah, you might remember her and her parents, the Pickers, my grandparents. I, I don't, but okay. <laughs> they were strongly connected to. Yeah, I'm sure that I'm sure. Maybe I would visually. Yeah, <laughs> urban pictures. Um, 
Well, I am not very creative, but I just imagine sometimes we have meetings over there that the space is just too small for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'd love to have I mean, have things like that here. Which space are you referencing? The town office. The town office, yeah. 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 You know, I was, I was if it's about one that. that's planned, we plan to have it's going to be well attended. Yeah. yeah. It might Great. be wise. It would be wonderful. Yeah, and it would be this close, too. It's, yeah, and it's, it's just not exactly. a big difference. It's not like people are going to complain about right. the yeah. way right. across town. Yeah. Right. I was thinking about what we did at the. Um, Grange. The Grange. Yes. And how great. Actually, that was oh, yeah, really that's cool. a wonderful space. We do more often, yeah. like. Yeah. But maybe to mix that up. And yeah. Make sure. This space is. Yeah, well. exactly. I think that's great. Yeah. Yeah. When we think when we think of meeting a meeting space, that was the only place I really thought yeah. of because yeah, yeah. it was the only place yeah. I really knew. Yeah. 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 I think this is much more comfortable. Oh, me than too. Grange, right? Yeah. It's certainly, you know. Lovely yeah. space. I mean, yeah. the 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 outside is much more pretty to look at. Yeah. Plus, the last one of the things we did two years ago was to extend the parking um, so that now, for the mainly because of these big events we have, so that we can have um, about 80 cars all together without having anybody have to park on the road. Mm -hmm. So, oh, good. yeah, so it can, we can take a pretty big, pretty big group. We had 99 people here though, for the Sheeta yeah, event. Yeah, we did this last time, yeah. yeah. And a lot of kids, it was so fun. Yeah, it was fun. Dancing all over the yard. Yep, and the Green Mountain Swing folks as well, it was really. Yep. Really lovely. Oh, it's great. So, what is the artwork? I have to ask. The, is this Art Zorn? He, uh, Art Arthur Zorn was the organist down at Bethany Church for years, and also the director of the Mad River Chorale. Um, and then he retired um, five years ago and started doing, it, focusing on art instead of music. Although huh. he's, like, he, he, he is standing in for us this summer. Our organist, um, our organist died in April, and yeah. so we've uh, had Arthur and. Lorna Carty, who was down in the Methodist Church in Barry. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you knew her, Tim, did you? No, I'm sure Martha. Martha. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I need something bright in my house. <laughs> <laughs> They're for sale, as I figured. Yeah. 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 So it's, it's great. He's a wonderful guy, very exuberant, and, and uh, he, he's a. Uh, uh, he, he creates a wonderful atmosphere in the church on Sunday morning, for sure. He's <laughs> great. Well, it's funny, because Lauren is just the opposite. She's yeah, very quiet. Very quiet. She's very competent, very quiet. Yeah, yeah. So she said the other day, she said, I'm the internal spiritualist. <laughs> exactly. Arthur is the external exactly. spiritualist. <laughs> and then Janine said, he's Libracci. <laughs> so, and it... Uh, we can use, especially from oh, May through September, we can use the ramp there for getting up here for folks who are. Yeah. So we had, the, while the uh, several Mont uh, Home Health and Hospice was doing traveling foot clinics, they were here about once a month. Uh, wow. And we had usually around 40 people or so who would come, um, the elder members of the community, most of them folks who were not connected otherwise with the church. That's good. Come. It was very good. They unfortunately ran into staffing problems when Jim Gothier retired, so they are not traveling any longer. But we're thinking about it. You might want us to talk about the visiting nurse thing, or the nurse. Thing. Yeah, we're talking about doing a visiting nurse, uh, parish nurse program, and that would, might include the foot clinic kind of stuff mm. as well. Oh. Certainly, blood pressures and and uh, sugar, yeah. you know, diabetes checks, and those kinds of things. Yeah. And oh, uh, have a have an, uh, either one of the visiting nurses that's all already coming, or maybe uh, one of our nurses in our own congregation, maybe have that be part of what we offer. Yeah, yeah that's great. How often does the radiology event come? Is that once a month? No, oh, they're once a month, too. We have yeah. the uh, uh, Amanda Thomas uh, <coughs> Pit, they call it the Mobile Pit Clinic. Or Bob boobs on board, <laughs> uh, which is which they they're out of Merrimack and they can't park in the in the hospital parking lot because it, Vermont Blue Cross Blue Shield and New Hampshire Blue Cross Blue Shield don't speak. Really? Yeah. yeah. So they've been coming here and they'll be here every, once a month and they have this mobile wonderful mobile unit and they just park it and we put a sign up for them and. They no, have sorry, I'm, 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 I work for financial regulations, so I'm fascinated by this. What, 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 need, does, what need does this fill? Is this for underinsured, uninsured, or is it just no, people that can't get around? Most well, of the latter. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's mostly accessibility. Is, okay. That was the same reason for the foot clinic, was folks who just had, it, had a difficult time getting... Okay. Yeah. okay, that makes sense. So, I mean, like the cameras, Marta and, um, and Dan, they were perfectly able to go down to somewhere like Dosha 
but it was just tough for them. They lived just over on Crosstown, and to be able to come here, have a, this really easy access in from yeah. the outside made it. Yeah. They just really preferred to come here. So. Well, no, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just always curious about needs that are yeah, going exactly. unfilled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's been really. That's yeah. we've had them twice, and they're going to come. Uh, they've given me the schedule for the, um, for the next, and they don't need anything really from us because they're self-contained. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. They just need that space. space. And, yeah. and yeah. are the foot clinics diabetic? Okay for diabetics or no? They are. Okay. Yeah, they I was wondering because my uncle is now maybe yeah. diabetic. And they, no, he doesn't. Unfortunately, though, the home health and hospice, they do them in Barry still. But yeah, that's the only one they're doing okay. now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they used to do them at the gardens, um, and they stopped those. They, I, they're now planning to do one, but it's not at all clear mm -hmm. how much they'll do. Going too bad, forward, so. We had a really good turnout here. We did. It was really important. Yeah, I, I bet. Think, so. cool. Well, yeah. We're half hour into this meeting. Mm -hmm. right? Okay. So Great. I want to thank you for opening your home to us here. Well, this you bet. Terrific. It's our pleasure. You know, it's you know, really, yeah, uh, it, and this place means so much to us. It really does. And and the standing offer is what whatever the town of Berlin can do to help you, your organization. I, I, and we'd like we, to and support vice that. Versa. Exactly, yeah, yeah, and vice yeah. versa. Yeah, whatever we, we can do to support the town. Yeah. Exactly. Great. 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 Terrific. Okay. okay. Tim, yeah. you want to yeah. go? Uh, let's see. So we've got ice rink year-round facility update. Um, well, Tom's certainly immersed in this. You want to? Yeah, I can so hand I the mic to you because I saw that. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, we submitted a uh, twenty-five thousand yep. dollar grant request yep. um, to the uh, building services. It's building communities. It's uh, and uh, it's it's really a piece of the the. Um, uh, solar panel project mm -hmm. you know that we're doing at the ice rink mm -hmm. but it's just another source of funds that that we have you know we have to come up with 50 percent of that money so it's just another source of funds to match. To, to as the match so yep. it's uh I, the application was submitted today the uh they don't they don't act on this until september october so uh, uh but uh, it's, i was speaking to the person in charge and she read it and she called me right back and I said it's the best application you've ever seen she goes well it's pretty close but did she and <laughs> we had a lovely conversation <laughs> that's right? a lovely one. conversation that's good and uh it was so I think we I'm always I'm always a half full kind of guy when it comes to this stuff I, I think we uh we have a uh, have an opportunity good, I think, to do it so um, uh, um, okay yeah so and I think uh, what about the big grant are, are you getting the northern board? Is that yeah, on the agenda? Oh, okay, yeah. sorry. So, yeah, so just here, the, what we're planning. So, we got the ice rink over there. Yep. What our plan is yep. to make it a year round facility, That's put a I roof intend. over it, yep. then have some headspace, but yeah. also then solar panels that Perfect. the town will take the, reap mm -hmm. the benefits yep. from that. Yeah. Um, and it'll make it easier to, to maintain the ice yeah, and definitely. keep it clean, and then, yeah. uh, you know, have some quarts underneath there as well. Oh, good. Can you remind me? So quartz, like pickleball, or what are you expecting? Pickleball, basketball, uh, yeah. Sweet. So right. the roof would have some height. I mean, it's not going to be a you know the Superdome by any means, obviously, <laughs> and retractable or anything. But, <laughs> but um, at least enough headspace to be able to have some some racket and, and basketball. Yeah. And and for this yeah. application, I said yeah. the, the immediate use would probably be outdoor volleyball and bocce ball because right. we don't have to do anything for that. Yeah. Right. 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 So yeah. so that's what I said. Yeah. You know, that yeah. that cool. would be the, the probably so, initial yeah. use of it. Just okay. yeah. So, Will it be sloped? We would have, I mean, it would be covered, but we'd want some, you know, it wouldn't be perfectly flat, I'm sure. Just given the ice, you yeah. know, it will be flooded. So we'll want to make sure that we've got it pitched and, and some borders up there that right. will help it slope. And it needs some drain work over there no matter what. That, so there's yeah, a so lot that's of, big thing that's is, a big, yeah. it's just yeah. grading over there because um, it, it, things are not, moving the right direction oh, there it's yeah. just well the small rink behind yeah. over by the shed there yeah. it doesn't really drain oh, okay. to the other side and oh, then oh. Uh, and you know with as much water, water pond there and then there's yeah. a storm water pond so yeah. it's easy yeah. to yeah. With, to drain with the down. right you know yeah, yeah. Like just just with to the, get it out exactly yeah. Okay. so that yeah that that certainly needs some work um and so we're also working on the hydrant um working with uh, public works to kind of replace the hydrant over there mm -hmm. for the winter. We'll have a work bee in the fall just to get the rink ready mm -hmm. for the upcoming season. Um, Tom Willard is always is, yeah. is always involved with that. 
Um, and then we'll, uh, I think likely last winter we didn't quite get it together and that we had that quick change with that warming, so we kind of closed the window on it. But we'll, we'll have a pickleball tournament, or not pickleball, excuse me, broomball tournament um, this coming winter out there as well. Is that an annual thing? Well, it would have been a second <laughs> annual, but the weather, <laughs> the weather last year, if you recall, yeah, Jim, yeah. we had that really yeah, warm, yeah, exactly. really we made it a this, challenge. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. so we'll, we'll go for a first annual this year <laughs> um, as, uh, as we try to schedule a little early and let Mother Nature uh, not have as <laughs> much a negative impact. Um, it's never known these so, days. Yeah. So yeah, so I think, you know, um, obviously we're looking to raise money for the big project that'll take some time but uh, there's some interim things we can do and uh, to kind of get that project ready to go and I think Mike is on Mike's on yes um, yeah Mike so I can uh, <clears throat> turn it over to you and just give us an update on uh, on the programs that you've been taking the lead on as far as the uh, softball and such and you're muted Mike there you go. Yeah, I know. Can you give me give me five minutes? I'll be right back. I got to go deal with something. Okay. Okay. Uh, Sorry. Oh so, yeah. So I can. Thank you. Uh, so signage. We're still. I'm working with. Uh, They're there. Still there. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, boy, I don't know if I have the window. We've got a lot of travel plans, but. Um, in August, if they're not up in early August, I'll just uh, take take that upon myself to to get that done. But we bought signage for uh, Berlin Pond and uh, Dog River just to uh, more information or updated informational signs. Does the swimming pool over for you? Just uh, like kind of right at the parking there. Oh, just okay. there's some you know things that needed to be updated yeah. and yeah. such. Great. So. Um, we just got to get those oh, installed. Oh, yeah. um, That's I don't great. think Hannah's. Thank you. She's not here. No. no. So um, Hannah's the point on the swim lessons. So we've worked out with Montpelier yeah. um, mm -hmm. Community Pool and offer a discount there. So at the end, we'll get a we'll get an invoice and um, be able to make that affordable for anyone in the in the Berlin community. Um, I don't know, Tom. How much on uh, Midway or? Uh, that's down further. Yeah, I, I think I printed this out before. Did you have that on the uh, the, the Midway Solar? Yep, we yeah. have a site visit on uh, <coughs> yep. the What's 19th. That next? Yeah, that's next. Next, was, yeah, next Wednesday, Tuesday, I think. Wednesday, Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, so I'm um, I'm out of town. I'm okay. Yeah, that as I said before. I'll yeah. be, I should be able to go. I put it on my phone. So it's 2 p.m. at the site. Yeah. I'm I will carpool from here, and I'll probably leave here at a like. Uh, 25 till 2 to get over there. Um, I probably will drive directly there. Yeah, okay. Just because I'll come from Montpelier. Like, wow, so yep. when the roads are all... Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, were you able to attend that? I forget if you said you were. Yeah, right. yeah, I, I can make it. I might catch a ride with you if you're, you know, if you're just taking off from the town office. Yeah, yep. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'll meet you there. Two, yep, sounds 225, good. you said, right? Uh, yes, yep. Okay. 125. 125. 125. I'll be there 125, not 135. 135. I'll be there 125 just in case. <laughs> there you go. There you go. We won't leave without you. There you go. Um, and so I was um, going to go to the select board Monday night, but obviously with the situation um, and given my availability, I think it's uh, was it August 7th. 7th, yep. Um, so going out of town twice between now and then so yeah august 7th um i'll uh, attend there and just give him an update and tom was gracious enough to work on some talking points and we worked through so there's like, yeah i haven't been in front of them in a while so really just get you know get out in front of uh, what we've got going and and candidly i uh, ask for some things in the future and and be able to help uh maintain fund support the uh, projects that we have coming so um, and Good. yeah so you know I think inside that there's obviously the, a lot of the trail stuff down below um, you can check oh, it's Mike oh Mike you're are you ready you're still muted Mike yeah sorry trying to click the button yeah I'm back <laughs> all right welcome back yeah uh, hey um, yeah, for those of you who I haven't met before, um, Mike Noyes, uh, 
Wednesday meetings are hard for me because I coach a lot of different stuff. Um, but uh, the capital soccer season's over, so uh, here I am. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, so yeah, so the update on on um, summer summer softball. We have a we have a summer team that's playing at Berlin. Um, it's a U fourteen um, uh, softball team, um, and we have uh, like I think 12, 13 kids on the roster. Um, most of them are from Berlin, so it's great. Um, having a lot of fun. We're doing well, and and it's it's going great. Mm-hmm. So, kind of my first step was I wanted to get something going, and we got that going. So hopefully the the next step for next year is to you know kind of expand those teams to different age groups. Yeah. Um, but you know we had to. I I wanted to get something started, so that's what we did. Um, and then uh, um, yeah, so it's going great. Um. We, we're using, like I said, we're using the Berlin field as our home base, and and it's it's been great. Excellent. I think that's great. That's wonderful. Mike, is uh, is the scoreboard is everything there to do that? Or are we still short some uh, materials? So, um, so yeah, a couple things. So, the the field was set up for baseball, um, and we had to change wow. that for softball because softball doesn't use a mound they use just you know it's flat um so we got rid of the material we went up and did a little work day up there um the we we do not have access to the dugouts or any of the equipment and and stuff in the dugouts or like so i think that's one of the things that we're going to have to kind of look for if we're going to try to build something in the community we're going to need you know field liners and um you know, not necessarily equipment like, like balls and, and, and bats and stuff, but like field equipment, like, um, like I said, field liners, you know, uh, little s- stuff to, to smooth out the, the field, um, Campers and line. Uh, yeah. so yeah. those types of things I think we're going to need. Um, yeah. Hannah told me that we have yeah. some stuff in the dugouts, but I have no access to it. I tried the, um, combination that she told me would work and it didn't work so um um so we're making do but you know obviously we can do things better i think if we want to expand things like this yeah do you know that there are two different passwords on the on the locks one is play i try i tried them both i tried them both so anyway um uh yeah, so so we're gonna so we we're gonna need some material and we're gonna need some equipment in order to to kind of grow the program, which obviously can grow. Um, what I did was, uh, you know, it it's not a money maker for the town or anything. I we kind of fronted a lot of the money. We fronted all the money. Um, but you know, just getting umpires, it's, every everything's expensive. Um, you know, yeah. you're not necessarily asking the town for any money to to run the program but we're going to have to start thinking you know as far as like you know balls and bats and helmets and umpires and all that stuff but um we are going to need some stuff to you know just make the infrastructure work um does anybody have any questions about that no i think i mean we do have some money too i make sure you're not and you shouldn't have to (laughs) take uh take a hit or anything so if there's some reimbursement too we can figure that out and there's you know we do have rec funds available and i would encourage this this group when tim goes to meet with the select board in early august um, one of the topics that that we talked about was really you know putting some funding into the into the rec commission Mm -hmm. i think you get five thousand three thousand that's not enough to run a, a program right so so the the more more folks from the rec committee that and they do a zoom that can show up and advocate for these things just just that just reiterate what you said there Mike you know basic stuff I I think the the select board would would fund that kind of stuff so yeah. I, ideally yeah. you know you can get to a thirty or forty thousand dollar budget where you know that and, and it took it took the planning commission about seven or eight years to get there, but they're there. Right. And and why they got there is because they kept applying for grants. They kept they they 
And so you guys are showing a presence here. I, I, think, I think you have a, a, a strong argument to yep. request some funding. Yeah, and it's not, and the stuff that, you know, that I think we're going to need is like, you know, like a, a liner for the, for the yeah. thing I looked it up. It's like 160 bucks, um, you know, a, a case of paint, $75, stuff like that, you know, um, but, uh, but that, that's going great. The kids are having a lot of fun and, um, you know, it's a start, you know, that's kind of what we wanted to do. Yeah. Um, so the idea is to grow the program for next season, but, you know, we had to start somewhere. Yeah. Oh no! Thank you. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, I feel like this is the kind of thing that really helps to build community. Oh, absolutely. So I think this is really important. Yeah, yeah and it's cool, like you know, because we're playing the teams we play. We play, you know, Orleans and Thetford, and you know, White River Valley and Barry, and and so all these teams. You know, it's like, hey, we're we're you know, we're Berlin. We're like kind of making a name, you know, and and I think yeah. that's, <laughs> that's great. I, you know, rather than. And, and and the great thing is is that we have the, the the fields available because they're not easy to come by you know um but yeah we need a, we need we need a backstop because the the backstop only goes up 10 feet um and if you know anything about softball like you know that should be 30 feet high at least and so you know we lose a lot of softballs that way but like you know <laughs> those are those are things that i think we can and you know i i think that with some funding we can we can fix yeah. And that's that's going to help you know not only the town but it's also going to help the school you know oh absolutely yeah yeah, yeah. good job they have, a, they have a new principal there now yeah exactly yeah. so I'm hoping that we can kind of maybe work together a little bit better than the last one and and um, get some stuff going yeah. maybe even in the fall yeah and she's from Berlin I believe yeah yeah oh, really? yeah yeah. Okay. yeah she lives in Berlin she lives in town oh, cool. yeah excellent well thank you Mike all right good. That's it. Uh, do you just sub uh, soccer? Yeah, I don't know. Soccer, yeah, I don't. Yeah, so soccer. Um, so so basically, uh, we're doing everything over at U32 right now. And the reason for that we're doing that is because A, we can, and B is um it's it's you know, obviously it's centrally located, but but we we don't have the equipment that we need in order to to run any programs there. Um, you know, we're gonna need goals, we're gonna need corner flags and, and lining equipment and all those things you know if you if we want to run any sort of program and, and my goal for next year is to be able to run you know have my high school kids um for those that don't know i, I coach the high school team at the at the school um is is to have the high school kids you know kind of run the program to oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, for the little kids and um but we're, we're going to need equipment in order to do it it's just w without it, it you can't Right, you, you can't yeah. run a soccer program without goals yeah. <laughs> or lines yeah. or flags yeah. or whatever, you know. Um, so I think that's going to be our next mission is to find that that equipment and those supplies. And um, you know, again, it's not. I, I don't think it's anything that's going to break the bank, but I think it's going it, to. It's essential in order to to run anything. Hey, Mike. Yeah. Will, will you? Can I give you my email? Will you email me? Because I, I work at U32 and I have funds that, that might match up with what you're doing. Um, who is this? The, uh, Tony. I'm, I'm Tony Snow. Uh, so my email is asnow at u32.org. Tom, you can send it to him, can you? Yeah, uh, Tom will share my email with you. But send me an email and let's talk. Because I, I think I can find a way to help you out with that. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> he sounds very skeptical. Yeah, no, I'm, a, I'm a real person. <laughs> I think he's worked with the school before too. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's new there. He hasn't yeah, been there very long. Buddy with a U32 uh, email, so but I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't been there very long. <laughs> oh, All right. shoot. Well, thanks, Mike. Uh. Uh, right. So, so before we get into the the into these light items, I, I just want to, I, I, I could send this to folks. So, th this is programs that we've been uh, seeking grant fund funding on. We have written uh, uh, grant requests for nine point eight million dollars, and uh, of that, we've just been rejected on. What is it? Uh, almost 2.4 million dollars so we still have seven million plus dollars out there that that we're looking at um, 
uh, and we have had some victories. Some of it doesn't really pertain to, to you folks, but we, we have, uh, and I'm including the acquisition of the school property as a victory, and I put a value of $685,000 on that. So we've got about $800,000 of victories, you know, uh, this, this calendar year. Uh, and July, August, and September is when these other ones are going to start again, yeah. we're going to know, right? So um, uh, I'm, I'm optimistic, as I have to be, uh, but so, so, so that, that's, uh, that's where it is. So I'll, I'll go through the, down through the particulars. Um, I think I shared with the planning mission the Riverton project. We <laughs> went through crazy. the Clean Water State Revolving Fund, and um, we were third from the, there are three out from the money. Um, and, um, I thought that was like a given. Yeah, I, I did too. Uh, um, do we do we know this? Maybe you might want to just shut me up now. But so with everything that's just happened, and there's you know with FEMA happening and stuff like that, we have. I imagine funding is going to be brought back in for rebuilding infrastructure, or rebuilding some of the things that we've lost. Yep. Um, West Berlin and Northfield, that area, Riverton area, was hit pretty hard. Is this an opportunity to start talking about, like, as a part of re-improving the land and re-improving all of this? That I, I don't think through clean water program, may, maybe through some other thing. Um, uh, well, not necessarily through <coughs> clean water, but I imagine there's going to be hopefully an influx of, like, rebuilding funds, and I think that... I don't know. This is my that's that's my, my assumption. My sense from the property owner, two years is too oh, much. Oh yeah, and that he's going to start doing something on his own. That's mm -hmm. just the sense sense that I got. So, but but uh, there's other options, right? There could be. My my hope is that you know there was like twenty some homes of capacity there. Mm -hmm. That he may take two or three homes of the capacity, and then we could we could do something in the future because it's ideal spot. We have all the information. We've got we have the scoping study done. Uh, uh, Wait, is he going to build the, the system that we designed? No, no. He, he would build just for it individually. Yeah. He, yeah, he's a he's, he's he's a contractor. Right, he, he built the house, a couple houses down. Right, right. Rivers, how much like, how much was it to build it? Build two, we asked for two point two million. Yep. It cost that much to build that system. Okay. Yep. Uh, so, anyways, um, my, that's my sense talking to him that, that, that they're going to walk. The a um, uh, couple of these programs are all uh, baked together, like the VTrans bike and ped grant that's been submitted. That's five hundred fifty thousand dollars to do the uh, uh, the pedestrian access at, over in Berlin Common, the new town center. It's the sidewalks. It's the multi-use path. It's the um, uh, street trees and the, and the street lighting. Uh, we've a, it's a five hundred fifty five hundred and fifty thousand dollar project, which if uh, uh, if we are awarded, uh, we will get four hundred forty thousand dollars of that project. So um, I, I feel good about that one. I, I spoke to VTrans. We've just done a scoping study on that on that uh, uh, multi-use path. Oftentimes, uh, uh, those studies will sit on the shelf, and they were surprised that we came in on this quick to, to, to do that project. So uh, uh, I, I think we have a, a good opportunity there. The um, Northern Borders one, which is really the big one, it's, it's, a, it's $6 million worth of projects, uh, $3.7 million for an extension of our water system to complete the loop. Uh, two of them that are involved, the, the, the rec committee is, uh, as when we put that water line in, we're, we'll, be, we'll be digging up um, uh, Scott Hill Road. And uh, when we put that road back, we've asked for $1.6 million to widen the road and make a multi-use path on that road. And um, so it's about two miles of, I'm calling it bike lane, but it's more than just, more than just bike lane. Is that with existing... Uh, Right away? Yeah, right away. Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. Okay. You don't need to do any. As far as I know, we okay. haven't designed it yet. Yeah. Okay. You know, but that—that's. Okay. We don't want to get into right away acquisition. Yeah. That, that just. That those dollars are not baked into this number. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, uh, and then Tim talked about the ice rink. We, uh, piece of it, the twenty-five thousand. But uh, the, the project from Northern Borders is seven hundred seventy-five thousand uh, dollars. Uh, a. Um, uh, st stanchions over the rink, um, uh, solar panels, making it a four-season community space. Uh, I, I, 
I think we're going to get some funding out of that. Um, just we'll just see what we what it what comes down to. Does it if it so if we get some is it they will say you're approved for this project or they just say you get three know. million spend it as you I want. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Okay. I don't know the answer to that. Mm -hmm. um, Are you trying to get the Superdome? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I think we need about three more zeros on the back of that. <laughs> the, 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 the priority is is that water project, right? Yeah. That's the priority. Yeah. And then next would be yeah. the uh, the bike. Uh, multi use because yeah. we're ripping that road up and it just right. makes sense. Mm -hmm. it's an area yeah, exactly. And, and, and uh, I'm all for it. I live on East Road. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> uh, oftentimes, the funders like to give piecemeal grants to many, right. many folks, right. and then and you really can't do much of anything with yeah, it. Exactly. But, but, anyways, uh, I can see. Yeah. Um, and I just uh, applied, I'm still applying, and um, it's this community recovery and revitalization program grant. It's for uh, two hundred seven thousand dollars. That will be our match to the to the uh, V Trans Bike and Pet Grant that I talked about up above there. And um, what this will pay for is uh, uh, this uh, in Berlin Common, the, the stormwater bringing water and sewer to three undeveloped lots, including the, the recently acquired. Town of Berlin lot, um, uh, and and and, those, and, those, and those, that's those three pieces. So, um, uh, at the end of the day, if we uh, let me let me let me go down here. Then the the, the Route 302 Gateway project, which is a, it's a loan, two two million dollar loan. Uh, again, that's the end of July date when we're supposed to know. That's to build, to realign and reconstruct what's now the Berlin Mall Road, uh, and which once once that's done, the, the town will take it over. But but with the V Trans and that loan, that gets uh, four developable lots on that property. One of them, which is the which is the the, the towns, and uh, uh, assuming all the grants come to, together, the out of pocket <laughs> expense for the town for. For two and a half million dollar projects, about hundred thousand dollars. So you gotta change that. It's not really three hundred two. Um, what did I put three hundred two? Oh, okay, just, I was confused when I saw that on the list. Like, no, but we talked about that though. The Route three hundred two gateway project is different. It's done. It's, it, we're not. We did not apply for it. Okay. Uh, uh, we applied for the that one over there. Really? Um, we already got all the all the dirt down there for doing the the work, <laughs> the park. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Right. Yeah, uh, the EV charging. The I I think I sent you guys that we applied in July sixth. They said they're having a bunch of applications um, that they may be back to us in four months. Uh, it, it was uh, ten EV charging stations on the town property campus over there. Um, this homes for all is uh, we didn't get. We weren't awarded that. Middlesex was awarded it, and, and um, you know. But anyways, so we, I'm going to take eight off this agenda. Going to go forward. I'm going to take Riverton off this agenda to go forward. And uh, the last one there is the, uh, we are working our way through. And Tim, I was unable to make the last meeting, but maybe you want to talk about the you know, the meeting we had with uh, yeah, Leon. So, yeah. Land Sander. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. So yeah. So they're kind of a, I guess a resource to help us um, with really how um, to be more open and equitable community. Inclusive, yeah, yeah. Inclusive. And oh. so they uh, really have a lot of resources to help us, um, you know, think more holistically. One of the big things that. Um, you know, comes out of it is a community survey. Just mm -hmm. they've got a standard survey. I forget how many questions they had. Maybe 18, 20 yeah, yeah. questions. Uh, I say the survey probably will take someone 10 to 12 minutes. So pretty extensive investment of time. But hopefully, mm -hmm. uh, and then we added a few that were specific to the town. So that's just to kind of get a pulse of um, you know where we are, what's important to people, what are their priorities, and that you know could be influential yeah, in the future sure. for grants is saying yes, yes the community is, is invested yeah, exactly. in this this is what they've said mm -hmm. hence this is what we're asking mm -hmm. for um, so I think yeah it's uh, 
already had been a valuable resource, and I think they continue, you know, as we continue to uh, mature that relationship and uh, with them, we can become more broadly um, seen and, and uh, inclusive as a as a holistic community. So, yeah. But yeah, what very yeah, you know, reap benefits for us certainly. So, and I did yeah, you can share the PowerPoint certainly with yes. you know the. Yeah. Yep. Uh, but they the put together talking here, yeah. points. Yeah, they're kind of just nice at a high level. Yep. But, yep. Yeah. But it kind of talks about who they are, what they do. And I feel stuff. like we dropped that at some point. Are you, or that was dropped. Is that what happened? Uh, they came back. Oh, okay. they, they left us and then they came back. Okay. And I think you may recall that um, uh, from the Regional Planning Commission was here last Yeah. Um, her name? Because of the Claire. 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 Yeah. Claire. Yep. <laughs> that uh, I think we said, you know, they ghosted us, and I, I think she went back to them because <laughs> I got a letter of apology from them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they watched the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> you had to be on the Zoom to well, see I, the meeting. Right. So. Well, no, they don't. Doesn't get record. Orca doesn't record it. Orca's yeah. never. This is the only time Orca's at this meeting. The Orca's that's a kind of planning commission meeting usually. Oh. So so well, anyways, I I think that's where it came from. Okay. Yeah. But they seemed engaged. Yeah. 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 Good. So there was three people from there on the calls. So yeah. Certainly. And it and as Tim said, it, it opens up some funding opportunities. Yeah. That uh, and we're all we're all about that right and now. Right? And help me understand how, what the relationship is with the state. There is no relationship. The state has hired them to, to go into to work for, to work with people the Vermont communities okay. to to do this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're not locally based. No, no I know that. One in Chicago, one in Philadelphia, and yeah. the other one is, I can't remember. Yeah, they're all over the country. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? No, that's all. We can't do minutes. No. I wish some of, that, some of those no's would be yeses on these grant applications. <laughs> is there a chance? Um, just think on the Riverton one, and well, you've done a million of these, Tom. But, but I wonder about. So, who, what organization is it through? Clean Water State Revolving Fund. It's, okay. It's a federal, federal how, dollars. How far get into off the state. were we? Points wise. Yeah. If, if you. I know we were third from being funded, but. And if you look at the ones that were past funded. Yeah. We were, like, four or five points higher than some of them that were in the in the past have funding. Yeah. So. As, as I, as I sent sent an email to you, the, uh, the, the we, in my opinion, that we we're going to need some of those that have been funded to, to say they can't do they it. They can't do it, right? Oh, so that's know. and that's what I was going to ask about was like, is there a, is it? I don't know how close a relationship you have with. The, Maybe you want to go visit some of those towns, John. I, I live in one. Put the, put the, put the <laughs> God in I live in one. <laughs> that didn't help, did it? Uh, I don't know, but that, they need I'm to just do curious it, if, yeah. like, if there's a conversation, how well you know this person. Because, like, when I, when I used to be do the grant making, which is the best job in the world, that you give away money and everyone yeah, seems to love you, no yeah. one's mean to you. Yeah. Uh, when you have the, those folks who are calling her, like, listen, I know that we're three down for, ha you know, we're going to lose out on the project permanently. This isn't one we get an opportunity in the future. It's going to be gone. We need housing desperately. We need to get this kind of thing. If someone, if it doesn't happen to work out, this or that, like, what do we need to do? Do we are ready? You know, like, I don't know. It, just, just putting in that message and keeping that communication open. Because I've, I've definitely been a part of, like, when, when the other, when the town comes back and they're like, you know, it turns out we, we actually can't, we didn't get the rest of the funding to make this yeah. happen. Yeah. We're going to have to rescind this grant. Um, I, I've called them right back and you know said, if you're still ready, you know we're, we're able to, to switch this award. Uh, part of the problem, and this is just my opinion again. But part of the problem is that there was this huge influx of dollars into the state. Yeah, and and so they announced all these. The state announced all these programs, but they did not hire people to manage the the dollars or the applications. Yeah, and the people that are there are just overwhelmed. It's, it's it's taken us I, I don't know almost a year yeah, it's been a long time. to get get our application reviewed yeah and and that's you know I, I 
Yeah. Uh, Where are they located? They're, are, they, they're state employees. I mean, a lot so of them are Montclair? now. Well, a lot of them are working at home okay. now. Yeah. I think it's part of it's part of ACCD, isn't it? it? Um, no, this is. AR. Um, it's got to be AR. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. They're their own. They, they, it's federal dollars that go into yeah, clean goes, water goes and drinking state, water. But it's got to be yeah. an agency of natural resources that administers that. Yeah, you'd think, yeah. And that, that's my sense. It just, it's, and what the regulated community is really hoping for is that the regulators realize that if they, instead of them having to go through the process, if they just gave monies to the municipalities, that the municipalities would get projects done because I think it's like 2025, this money is supposed to be spent, which is not that long. Right? Yeah. You know, yeah. It's not that long. Right? Yeah. And um, uh, in, so that's what the. You mean just split it up? Or, or yeah, or. How, like yeah. how do you prioritize? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> it, it, would, it would be based on population, just like the ARPA funds were. It was based on some formula, right? Or some, right. You know, and then you get a share of that formula. And, Depends uh, on what strings have been attached to it at the federal level. That's the problem. Well, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that's what when we sit around and complain about the process, uh, you know, uh, the, the, we think the solution is is just let let the municipalities decide what's the important projects. But, you know, Good. All right. Well, wait to see. I guess. Yep. Oh, but we did we did have good news from Sanders's office, right? About well, um, we're still on the list, yeah. yeah. And that's that's yeah, it's part Which of one this. What is that? Pardon me. Oh, that's that's in here. It's not wasn't on, it's not on this list though. No, it's on in this list. It's it's on the it's in the nine million dollar ask. 10, yeah. Ten million dollar ask. Yeah. Yeah, we're still on for uh, uh, the balance of the multi-use path in in Berlin Common. Yep. Sorry, I'm, I'm one of these people, so the, I. I've done a, yeah. Have you, have you responded in, to them and said something to the effect of like, no. we've met as a planning commission where like where after the devastation like they they just landed, right over there half a mile. You know what I mean? Like they went and toured our town, they as well as the other ones. Like they know that all this stuff has just happened, and just sort of like having that communication and that conversation of like, like we're really excited about how we're going to you know recover from this and and this is one of those things that like. This is where people were, right? They were at. I'm a little the, jaded right now. In the I know you are. <laughs> I, I get you. I get that. Yeah. I also. Yeah. I also. What are we talking about here? I'm talking to the half full Tom. Okay. F U L L, not yeah. F O O L. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but I just wonder about not just continuing to, to send those messages of like, don't forget about us. Like, this is really important. Yeah. Like, this is yeah. part of our recovery yeah. effort. Monday made everybody's plate a little more difficult, but. Okay. I, 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 I will. I will. I get that. I Just will, don't will. let them forget yep, you. Yep, yep, yep. You're talking about the congressional, the, no, the Sanders money, or the yes. clean water? Oh. No, no, no. I'm talking about Sanders. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, Sanders they, they just they just reached out to us this week. Or no, I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I just just to like don't let them forget us. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. keep having that conversation. How like we were just like, yeah. I just I just think about how much the tiny conversations make all the oh, difference no, in funding. Like yeah. those small ones of like. Yeah. We you're, were like, we're, this isn't, it's, you know, like, because the reality yeah. is, like, we also just applied for a shit ton of grants and yeah. a bunch of little ones. And just keeping that thing of, like, we're not, you know, you've been there too, where you get the applications from, you know, 60 people and 55 of them don't even live in town. They don't know where Berlin is. They, they are applying for the wrong job, but, but they're just a click away. That just, like, saying, like, no, this actually matters to us. We've been meeting about this. We're really hopeful. Like, you know, this is something that, that's really important to, the growth of our town we, yeah. you know that housing is a huge thing and this is going to help with that like we, all of these things but keeping maybe, those small little maybe get our town administrator to do that kind of stuff <laughs> do we have one <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah it's a good idea have they said another meeting I, I don't okay never mind um <laughs> just I, I i get that also however i can help with some of those I'm happy to write things that you can just copy and paste. Mm -hmm. If that's ever yeah. helpful. Yeah. I think our, the, I have to say that the website is horrible. I think it's absolutely horrible. Which just website? for the record. Berlin's website. 
Oh. It's pretty awful. Horrible. It's, yeah. it, and it's new. Yeah. It's pretty awful. Mm. Uh, no. It's just it's not ridiculous. But anyway. No. I'm the choir. You're the half full. I'm the choir. No, I'm the choir. You're preaching to it now. This is the prank. Good place this to do it. Proper you're band. Band. Just, you're over. So. You're just got it. You're over. Just over about yeah. 20 feet. We do it too. This is the secular it. part. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you for Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks.